Vans Greg understanding by with the seven figure deal Ace Rockwell and we are just hours away from the 13th annual Hardcore Hell. You have on the line tonight your biggest match ever. You've done everything there is to do in NWA Anarchy, the only triple crown winner in this company's history, but you've never been the national heavyweight champion. It's got a nice ring to it, Greg. Rugged Ronnie Garvin, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, the Russian nightmare, Nikita Koloff, the universal soldier, Phil Shatter. Tradition, legacy, and respect. Tonight, at Hardcore Hell 2009, the seven-figure deal, Ace Rockwell, is going to add his name to the list. Folks, the National Heavyweight Championship is still a tongue. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest has been sanctioned by the NWA Board of Directors. It is scheduled for one fall when the bell rings. Man in charge of the action is Brent Wiley. This contest is for the NWA National Heavyweight Championship. The national champion, and Phil Shatter. Rockwell entering this match with a man that he is no stranger to. It was Phil Shatter who defeated Ace Rockwell to win the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship a little under two years ago. Phil Shatter, the National Heavyweight Champion, as I said earlier, no stranger to entering Hardcore Hell as a champion, but one thing that he is a stranger to, leaving Hardcore Hell as a champion. As I said earlier, at this event last year, Phil Shatter lost that Anarchy Heavyweight Championship to Iceberg. Can Ace Rockwell make it two years in a row that uh, Shatter leaves Goldman? One of the most historic and richest prizes in all of professional wrestling being handed over to Brent Wiley. And for all Shatter knows, he may have just kissed away the National Heavyweight Championship. As we said earlier, when Iceberg was competing with Orion Bishop, this is an event that had been very kind to him. As you just mentioned, it has not been kind to the Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter. But what we have here, you said it to me earlier today, the eerie coincidence with Ace Rockwell and the number seven, seven figure deal. Won the lucky seven rumble for this opportunity here tonight. Won the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship on July 7th, 2007. But tonight has nothing to do with the lucky seven. In fact, if anything, it's unlucky 13, as in the 13th annual Hardcore Hell. But you know, like I, and I was saying earlier when you was on your way to the ring, these two men are no strangers to each other. These two men, I said Chatter won the championship from Ace Rockwell, but they've had some battles over the years, over the, both the Anarchy Championship and just a personal vendetta. 
Well, exactly. These two men, certainly heated rivals. And what we have here, Ace Rockwell was dethroned by the Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter. Ace Rockwell, far from 100% in that contest. Remember, he had an injured knee. He comes into this match not exactly 100%. We don't know the extent of the injuries that he suffered a week ago on Anarchy Television from the Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter. What we do know is that, like so many times in his career, Ace Rockwell walks in at a distinct disadvantage. But if anybody has been known as the big time, big match, big night guy, it is the seven figure deal. Greg Hunter, Ace Rockwell tonight has a chance to put his name alongside some of the all time greats. Wahoo McDaniel. Names that he mentioned, the Russian nightmare Nikita Kolov. You know, guys of that caliber. Ace Rockwell could put his name next to Phil Shatter as a man who held that national heavyweight championship. Yeah, it's a who's who of individuals that were national heavyweight champion over the years. Tully Blanchard, Ronnie Garvin, Ted DiBiase, just to name a very few. And right now, the Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter, the holder of the National Heavyweight Championship. And right now, going to work on the seven-figure deal, Ace Rockwell. Something else to keep in mind, this plays in Rockwell's court, is that Phil Shatter, as National Heavyweight Champion, has a breakneck schedule. He defends the title all over the country against all levels of competition against individuals that he may have never seen before, he may not have had the opportunity to scout before, but then again, he also could have a wealth of footage on everybody in the National Wrestling Alliance, especially with the mastermind Jeff G. Bailey with him. So what one has to wonder is, is the schedule of the National Heavyweight Champion going to wear down Phil Shatter? Does he come in at 100%? Right now, Ace Rockwell is pounding away on the National Heavyweight Champion. Greg Hunter in 1948 in Waterloo, Iowa, when they set down the guidelines, the rules of the National Wrestling Alliance, when they set down the guidelines of how a champion of the National Wrestling Alliance is supposed to defend that title, they had it with guys like Phil Shatter in mind. I'll even say this, guys like Ace Rockwell in mind, guys who are willing to go that distance, travel not just the country as the national champion, but travel the world showing that you are in an elite class. You are a member of the National Wrestling Alliance, and there's no two finer men than what we see right here that represent that today. Rear waist lock by the Universal Soldier, using this very much like a bear hug and to control the challenger, the seven-figure deal, Ace Rockwell. One of five championship matches for Hardcore Hell. We are seeing it right here, the National Heavyweight Championship on the line. Not since the days of NWA Wildside many moons ago has the National Heavyweight Champion been in the ring at Hardcore Hell. Phil Shatter right now with a very stern test, maintaining that bear hug, that rear waist lock on the seven figure deal and making Rockwell carry his 240 pound frame on top of whatever Ace Rockwell, the wind, whatever pain he is laboring through at the moment. And that, a turnbuckle to the skull, will break that waist lock, side headlock from the seven figure deal. But Greg, I mean, think about this for a second. Look at Shatter. He's in better shape than we've ever seen him in. This man's discipline you can't measure it. I mean, you're on the road 365 days a year. You know that you're not going to always be able to eat right. You know you're not going to be able to sleep, you know, the eight hours a night that you should get. But this man keeps himself in phenomenal shape. It just shows the discipline of and how much that NWA National Championship needs to put his body through that. What we're seeing here, one must admit, is uniquely different from many of the encounters we have seen in the past between Rockwell and Shatter. These two men almost in a feeling out process, although they know each other very, very well. 
the national heavyweight title, the third richest prize in all the National Wrestling Alliance is on the line right here, right now, and both men know it, not wanting to take any risks. And Greg Hunter, you know the thing is, that NWA national title, I mean, that, that could springboard you, you said it's the third richest prize, it could springboard you to the richest prize, that NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Right now, Rockwell with his own rear waist lock. Shatter holds onto the ropes, side headlock of his own. Leg scissor, Rockwell gets out of that quickly. Rockwell taken down, lateral press, not even a one count. Leg sweep, again, not even a one count. Rockwell trying to pick up the pace. Rockwell trying to force his style on the national champion and the champ not having much of it. You know, and, I mean, think about this for one second too, Greg Hunter. What, what, four years now for Shatter being in the sport of professional wrestling, and he's already a former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion and now the current NWA National Champion. What a lot he's accomplished in a short time. Just three years, JJ. He was the, he was the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion in his rookie year. He is a former Anarchy Tag Team Champion. Now in the midst of his third year, the holder of the national heavyweight title. And right now, knife edge chop by Ace Rockwell. Shatter has to worry about the myriad of defenses that he has as national champion. You know Jeff G. Bailey's scope doesn't stop at Bill Shatter. They are certainly looking at the North American champion, Mike DiBiase. They certainly look at the world's champion, Blue Demon Jr. But he also is contending with someone who has only one focus, the national heavyweight title that's around Phil Shatter's waist, and that is Ace Rockwell. And Greg Hunter, you know, the thing is, you look at the abuse that Ace Rockwell has taken over the years in the ring, but you never see Ace Rockwell, oh, let me rephrase that, Ace Rockwell always seems to get better the more hurt that he is. The more the stack attacked against him, the better off he is. Maybe Phil Shatter needs to work quickly to get Ace Rockwell off that game. Cover, and only a one count. Ace Rockwell, the man is known for performing under pressure. He does it very, very well. He has an incredible internal reserve. He digs down from places that most individuals can't even dream of. The more you hurt this man, the more it simply shocks you when he manages to rally back. And right now, handful of tights, pulls his man back. back, back. And that right there, I mean, thing is, you know, we talked about, you know, about uh, injuries to uh, Ace Rockwell. The neck and you know concussions have been a big part of Ace Rockwell's career as well. Ace Rockwell, in his just the years of NWA Anarchy, this is the fourth Hardcore Hell under Anarchy's banner. Ace Rockwell has broken both arms. Ace Rockwell has suffered severe knee injuries. Ace Rockwell suffered multiple concussions. The man is not exactly, you know, not exactly what one would consider a uh, healthy individual all of the time. Not quite the walking wounded, but he might be by the time the national champ is done. Has him cinched up, sets him up. Beautiful slingshot suplex, shades of another national champion, Tully Blanchard. Rockwell kicking out at two, his hopes of becoming national champ still alive. Hey Greg Hunter, you know one thing about Jeff G. Bailey I've noticed it's for the most part has still been very calm, very composed out there, very confident that his champion will remain just that, his champion. Rockwell firing back, right hand shoved off, knee to the midsection of the National Heavyweight Champion. And now, Rockwell up and over, front drop kick, got nothing. Shatter slingshots his man up and over into the arena floor. And imagine the strength of that right there. I mean, he, not, he didn't just slingshot him into a corner. He slingshot him over that top rope. That takes a lot of power in the upper body of Shatter. This bout has now gone to the floor. Not for the first time this match. The national champion breaking the count of referee Brent Wiley. Remember, 
the rules of the National Wrestling Alliance. If this match ends in a, oh good Lord, where is he gonna put this guy? Right back in the ring. If this match ends in a count out or a disqualification, the title will remain with the champion. Only a pinfall or submission will bring this match to an end with championship implications. Cover and only a two count. This man right here, Phil Shatter, has a lot of pride. A lot of pride in being the national champion. He could have very easily taken the count out victory over Ace Rockwell, but throws his opponent back in the ring to inflict punishment and to get the one, two, three. Rockwell firing away. Shatter staggers back. Rockwell, oh, slam. cover, hook of the leg. Two, and only a two count. Greg Hunter, all these slams, all these strikes to the back of the neck and to the back of the head set up for one thing, that PTSD, the move that has put away numerous contenders, numerous opponents for Shatter, both as the national champion and as the Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. And right now, the Universal Soldier looking for the PTSD. Rockwell perhaps playing a little possum inside cradle and only a two count. Big clothesline. Lateral press, hook of the near leg, and a two count again. But now, the Universal Soldier looks to be getting a little frustrated, looking out to Jeff G. Bailey for assurance. And now, apparently, something in his eye, perhaps. Oh, wait a minute. Jeff G. Bailey choking what? away at the challenger. Ace Rockwell, as um, the Universal Soldier, keeps Brent Wiley occupied. I had a phone call. What happened? Oh, good grief. Cover, hook of the leg, only a two count. Ace Rockwell still in this one, folks. And then, you know, the thing is, I'm noticing that, that even though he's not getting a three count, he's not letting himself get frustrated, that being Phil Shatter. He just goes right back on the attack. A lot of maturity for a man who's just, you know, into his third year as a professional wrestler. I don't know about no frustration, JJ. He was looking to Jeff G. Bailey after that last cover attempt for reassurance. Rockwell fighting back up to his feet out of that rear waist lock. Close line duck. He just got caught on the cross body. Ball away slam by the national heavyweight champion. And this could be it right here. Ace Rockwell could have just used his last time. Cover and only a two count. Rockwell, the, the wear and tear on the seven-figure deal. At some point, he's going to have to take a toll here. Lateral press, now a foot on the ropes. Because every time Rockwell has to kick out, he's expending more energy on top of the punishment that he is absorbing from the national champion. And right now, Shatter, with the snapmare, back to the rear chin lock. And right now, like you said, making Ace Rockwell use all that energy, what little bit he has left, and right now making him carry all that weight on his shoulder, on his neck. This right here, I mean, this could be the beginning of the end for Ace Rockwell. The Universal Soldier, Phil Shatter, since January of this year, defeating Crusher Hansen in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, has been the national heavyweight champion. Ace Rockwell would love to, at the end of this night, in Cornelia, Georgia, be the new national heavyweight champion. And right now, Rockwell trying to use his speed and his mobility, but he got caught with that sidewalk slam. Again, though, only a two count. Rockwell reaching down real deep right now. Re reaching down real deep, and that usually could spell bad news, but now the frustration sets in. Right now, Phil Shatter and Jeff G. Bailey had to be thinking, what do we have to do to beat Ace Rockwell? The last time they beat Ace Rockwell for the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship, like you said, an injured Ace Rockwell, pretty much a foregone conclusion. This one, not so easy. Rockwell, tilt to whirl, Rockwell, girl space. Rockwell, looking perhaps for a concession from the National Heavyweight Champion. And think about what's going through the mind of Phil Shatter right now. If he says, I quit, he's basically saying, I'm handing you the National Heavyweight title. I don't think there's any quit there in Phil Shatter. As Ace Rockwell 
was able to roll through as Shadow was trying to counter. But right there, the legs are on the rope. That's going to be a break. Shatter rolling through, got himself in better positioning, got his feet to the ropes. Right now, agent attorney Jeff G. Bailey around talking to his charge, trying to make sure that he's still cognizant, that he still knows what is going on. Rockwell with an advantage, a slight one. As you can see, his face racked with pain. Reversal of the average whip. Rockwell up and over. He got caught. Shoulder carry position. Rockwell looking for a long blower. Instead, Texas Cloverleaf out of the repertoire for the National Heavyweight Champion. And Greg Hunter, I mean, look at that. Dead center of the ring is Ace Rockwell. He is nowhere near a chance to get in the ropes. Rockwell right in the middle of the ring. He's got nowhere to go in the Universal Soldier. And just a couple of minutes ago, Greg Hunter, you, you pointed out the wincing in the face of Ace Rockwell. That back is hurting him very bad. And he is fighting through all that hurt, literally clawing at the canvas to make it to the ropes. And you can see the National Heavyweight Champion in a state of disbelief. Greg Hunter, this is, like you said, the third richest prize in the National Wrestling Alliance. Both these men went around their waist. They're willing to risk life and limb to be able to call themselves the national champion. And right now, Ace Rockwell may not have much more left to go. Rockwell looks to be virtually dead weight. Shatter trying to pull him up. Rockwell collapses. Rockwell is in a bad, bad way right now. It could have been the last bit of energy he had. And now, setting up here with a camel clutch is the national heavyweight champion going back to the back, working over the neck at the same time. But, and the one thing I just noticed is he was taking his time, clenching his hands around. Ace Rockwell is still trying to fight it. But I don't know how much he has left right here as the, the first arm goes limp. But get himself up to his knees. Rockwell, jawbreaker. That will break the camel clutch, and it will stagger the national champion. Buster slam. Staggering the champ, not enough. Hook of the far leg, cover. And only a two count. Only a two count right there. And the thing is, you've seen Shatter. He had to get his balance to go over and pin Ace Rockwell. I mean, he almost landed away from his opponent. Shatter looking out to the leader of the NWA elite, Jeff G. Bailey, saying, that's it, he's done. Bailey telling him, you can see the expression on Bailey right there, the body language. Take your time, make sure, stay calm. Bailey knows what Ace Rockwell is capable of. The Universal Soldier is in the heat of the moment. And right now, the Universal Soldier going up top. Now, very uncharacteristic, characteristic, excuse me. Oh, Shatter, right there, Ace Rockwell able to fight up. Yeah, that's why it's very uncharacteristic of Phil Shatter. He took a whole lot of time trying to get up to that top rope. And the challenger to the national heavyweight title just made him pay for it. And Rockwell trying to come to life. Rockwell, fireman's carry, he has the man. Airplane spin by the seven-figure deal. But Greg Hunter, how smart is this on Ace Rockwell's part? He's taking a ton of punishment, blows to the head and everything. He's only going to make himself dizzy. Yeah, but he just disoriented the national heavyweight champion. That may buy Rockwell a whole lot of time. But it can also buy the champion a lot of time too, Greg Hunter. It certainly could. It's a question now of who can take advantage of his disoriented foe first. The crowd here at the 13th annual Hardcore Hell rallying behind the seven-figure deal. Big avalanche splash in the corner. Rockwell not able to capitalize. Just yeah. laying on his foe. Went for the Bulldog. Oh. Drops low and the champ does a nosedive over the body of Rockwell. Rockwell, big Bulldog. 
And Greg Hunter, this is what I was talking about earlier. Ace Rockwell, for all the pleasure he takes, when he gets that second win, it can spell the end for anybody that big, including the NWA National Champion. Jeff G. Bailey just saved the National Heavyweight title, quite possibly, putting Shatter's foot on the bottom rope. You didn't see that. Yes, I did see that. And right now, Rockwell sent in for the ride. Close line, duck, looking for aces high. Knee right to the side of the skull. And that puts Rockwell out on the apron. Both men fatigued. Both men running on fumes. Both men desperately wanting to leave here as the national heavyweight champion. How important is this NWA National Heavyweight Championship? I mean, these are potentially, this can, this can lead to career ending in. Oh, the spear by Shatter, cover two. And again, a two count. Just when you think Ace Rockwell is done for, he brings himself back from the brink of oblivion. And for right now, Shatter wasting a lot of time. He needs to stay on Ace Rockwell if he wants to stay the national champion. The Universal Soldier says it's over. Jeff G. Bailey becoming as frustrated as his champion. Rockwell is down. Rockwell appears to be all but out. He may very well be unconscious right now. He's not moving. But you cannot waste this kind of time. Jeff G. Bailey and Shatter both know better than that. They gotta stay on this guy, put him away, walk out, still a champion, see you later. Ace Rockwell, they got him up. Rockwell with that jawbreaker. Once again, staggering the champ. Once again, buying himself some desperately needed time. Rockwell. One knee, Rockwell on his feet. Rockwell clothesline, and both men fall out to the arena floor. And right now, Brent Wiley gonna start the count of both men. Now, this is a double count out. As you said, per the rules of the National Wrestling Alliance, the title can only change hands on a pinfall or a submission. Doesn't matter who gets counted out, the title's not gonna change hands here. But if this goes to a double count out, Ace Rockwell definitely would solidify himself as a top contender for the national championship and definitely warrant a rematch. He certainly would. Right now, Jeff G. Bailey hurrying around the ring to make sure that the national heavyweight champion made his way back into the ring. Shatter with the sunset flip just powers him up. He's got him in position for the PTSD. Ace is high. Whoa! Ace is high from the national champ! Cover two! Oh! And only a two count as the national heavyweight champion goes for Ace Rockwell's own signature maneuver and nothing doing, says the challenger to the national title. Greg Hunter, I thought that was it. I thought that was gonna be all she wrote. Ace Rockwell able to kick out the aces high, and now a really frustrated champion lumbering over his fallen prey, hoping to put an end to this one very soon. He hauls, he hauls up the seven figure deal, puts him on a high perch. Rockwell falls off that top rope. Jeff G. Bailey just looked up at Shatter and said, you got him champ reassuring his man that he is going to still be the national champion. But I gotta tell you right now, I've never doubted Jeff G. Bailey or Shatter in my life. But right now, there's a lot of doubt in my mind. Ace Rockwell just clotheslined. Just dropped straight south and clotheslined the national champion on that top rope. Rockwell, slow to get up top. Caught by the Universal Soldier. Right hand by Shatter. Shatter follows him up. They're fighting out on a precarious perch right now. And right now, Ace Rockwell What's he hitting doing? up. What in the world is Rockwell doing? Rockwell! Rockwell looking, I certainly believe, he had, was positioning him for a sunset powerbomb. Perhaps his own version of the PTSD. But Rockwell has taken so much punishment in this match, unable to keep his balance. 
and unable to get over the national champion. The crowd trying to rally behind Ace Rockwell, the Universal Soldier. And Greg Hunter, you know, you gotta, you gotta give that up to Ace Rockwell. I mean, I don't even know if he knows he's in the NWA arena right now. Oh, he very well may not right now. Rear waist lock sends him into the ropes. Rockwell rolled through. Shatter went for the PTSD cover here. Jackknife cradle. And wait, Jeff G. Jeff G. Bailey's got a shoe off. What in the world? What is Jeff G. Bailey doing? What does he think he's doing? It's Peter Tire. Oh, the heck you say. Jeff G. Bailey with a shoe in his hand. He's up on the apron. What do you, you they use that shoe? Bailey gets caught. Shatter gets rolled up. One, two, and almost a new national champion. Greg Hunter, he was literally a split second away from having a new national heavyweight champion. But right now, Ace Rockwell's got to get on his force. He's got to do what it takes to take out Shatter right now. Wasting too much time going to the top rope. Rockwell heads up to the high rent district. Rockwell leads. Rockwell crashed and burned. Shatter right on top of him. PT, SD, one, two, still the national champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner's match. And still your NWA national heavyweight champion, the Universal Soldier, Shatter. Greg Hunter, you couldn't have asked for a better national championship, national heavyweight championship match here at Hardcore Hell. Both men giving it their all. Both men giving 210%. But in the end, the champion still raised the free shatter. And there was never any doubt in my mind. Well, I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of doubt in a lot of people's minds, including Shatter and Jeff G. Bailey himself. But the Universal Soldier Shatter is still the national heavyweight champion. But this is just the second of five championship matches here tonight at Hardcore Hell. Folks, there's more. Don't miss a second of it.